This is dangerous. This is not. They're all viable. dangerous, Arlene. They're no, but this all is very this dangerous. is thirty thousand feet dangerous. This is this is you're gonna die dangerous. Next in the den, a passionate entrepreneur from Val d'Or, Quebec, hoping to plunge into the aerospace industry head first. Hello, dragons. My name is Alain Pelletier. I'm from Val d'Or, Quebec, and I'm here to ask $100,000 for 20% of my company. So since the beginning of time, man has dreamt of flying like a bird. And in the last 100 years, there's been great advancements in technology and also helped us travel in different ways. My vision of flying uh, is different from what exists on the market right now. When my daughter was born three years ago, it really pushed me to go for my dreams. So this is Moni Rondel. What it is, is it's a, a suit that we place upon ourselves. And once we're in the plane, we step outside, we look down and we see the ground that's really far. We jump and once we're in the air, we open Moni Rondel with our feet and everything comes up. All right, so when you open it with your legs, it's gonna open the tail. And with the tail that opens, it actually opens everything else so that the wings can come out. So it's taking time here, but everything is gonna be done instantly. So once you open the legs, everything comes out. You hope. <laughs> so this is Moni Rondel. In English, it's called a swallow. This is gonna give you the idea of what my product is going to be. This is flight as we've never seen it before. <laughs> true, that's very true. I think it may be just one flight you get to. <laughs> I, I won't be putting this model in the air, all right? Alain, I, I'm really concerned. For what, Jim? This is only a model, all right? So it's I to give you that. the visual aspect. The object of this is not to fly through the clouds, it's to fly with the clouds. <laughs> all right, so if we're in, are, are we the demo too? If you want to come, Bruce, you want to give it a try? Yeah. This is going to be one really wet machine when I'm... And you'll be peeing your pants <laughs> as you go up. Exactly. <laughs> so once, oh. once the model is opened, okay, your arms are in the front because if something happens with the wings... If what? If something happens <laughs> with the wings... If something happens, if something happens with the wings... your arms are not on the side. This guy's it, filling me with confidence right now. <laughs> if something happens with the wings... <laughs> what'll I do if something happens with the wings? You have a parachute on the back, right? Oh, it's getting All right, better. So All right. What if it hit a bird in the air? <laughs> that's, that's the first... First objection you come up That's with? What if you hit a bird? I, I haven't thought about landing what yet. If you hit, what if you hit the ground? <laughs> First. We're going to have to have some special pilots that are going to be able to, <laughs> to evaluate it, to test it, and to tell me what to change. What do you mean what to change? I mean, if, they, if it doesn't work, they're, they're going to not be able to tell you anything. If something be dead. doesn't work, we're going to change it. This idea is going to work. <laughs> are you really serious or are you out of your mind? Kevin, I'm very serious. I then know you are that this can mind. fly. Listen, you know, I'm just telling you. Know, you what, Kevin, you can. You people can, make motorcycles. You can hate they the, make just four wheelers. Just, they, they're all just sorts of machines. We cannot like the idea, but you know what? You never trash the person. I exactly. think he's nuts. Why do you think this is wrong? Am I, can I ask you a couple of questions? How much have you got into this? I don't. Not much. Not much. Look at that thing. Not much. What is your family thinking? What do they all think of this wild idea? My father, he was really proud. He was almost crying. He was shaking. That I believe. <laughs> They're proud of me, guys. Alain, have you been to a flight center with this? I sat down with, uh, with an engineer in my city to talk about the rules and regulations. And when I was talking about this, all you saw was a big smile because he is a parachuter. <laughs> Fine line between a smile and a laugh. He was happy. What, what's the inspiration for this? What got you as a kid thinking about this Icarus? Flying like Superman and flying also like a bird was just the fact of being able to fly in the clouds, but by using your own yeah. body. The difference between birds and people is what? Brains. Mm -hmm. I'm not so certain you're applying your brains to the idea of flying here. No offense, it's your dream, but frankly, the liability, the issues with getting this off the ground, it, it just isn't feasible. This is dangerous. This is not. They're all viable. dangerous, Arlene. They're no, but this all is very this dangerous. is thirty thousand feet dangerous. This is this is you're going to die dangerous. I think the idea is really bad. 
It's your dream, however, so do what you want, my friend, but as far as an investment, this idea, I think, is not going anywhere, so I'm out. Alan, may I? Yes. If you come out here and ask for a hundred grand on a vision and then roll out a, a handmade apparatus, I don't think you're far enough along with some of the questions we'd have as innovators and investors to get a hundred thousand dollars. So for that reason, I'm out. Alain, I, I love people who dream big. I mean, what's a bigger dream than flying with the birds? And I mean, it does seem a little crazy, but I'm out. Good luck, though. Good luck. That's it, guys. <laughs> You'll need it. <laughs> I'll make you a deal. Listen to this idea, because this is the kind of guy I am. I'm trying to figure out how do I make money with this. I don't want to get in the way of your dream. Let me take out a $2 million life insurance policy on you, OK? I'll give 30% to your daughter as a gift. Um, I'll fund you for your jump and I'll pay for the burial. Come on, Kevin. If I'm right, somebody in your family You're praying gets... that I die. No, but somebody gets rich. That's good. You've left a legacy. Your daughter not, makes some why money. Why not get rich making it and selling it to people? No, I think it's not going to work. I'm just looking for a partner that's going to get me working on this, guys. I can build this. I can get the help that I need if I have to from aerospace engineers. I can get all the help that I want. My offer still stands. No, Kevin, I don't, I don't want to die on this, and I don't want you to, to profit from the death of somebody. But I want you to profit in legacy. I want to profit by selling it all around the world for people that like this sort of thing. Kevin, stop being so mean to people. I'm not mean. I am willing to put a $2 million insurance policy, give 30% to his daughter. I'm the only guy that's generous here. He will be a stain on the ground within about 30 no, seconds. No, he won't, because he's not going no, anywhere. No. If he wants to profit off of the death of people, he's, he's in the wrong business. He should be at a mortuary or something like that.